Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald Alfred, aka GCs. And uh, we're going right here. This is the first episode, vlog, whatever this joint, whatever you want to call these things, web series. That's what I'm going to call it. This is the first episode of the web series. Oh, an episode of the web series. Sounds better. This is the first episode of the web series. So let's get this money. And I'm about to start doing these on a regular because that's something that we really need to talk about is getting this money. Uh, because one of the hugest, hugest differences between rich people and poor people is rich people discuss money. They talk money. They love talking money. Like, broke people have a huge issue talking about money. Like, you start talking about money, they get going thinking about way other stuff. Or, you know, or the money that they speak on is so insignificant when it comes to the bigger picture. Or when they discuss money, it comes to talking about paying bills and the negative issues of money. Like, one of the biggest and funniest things that I find is interesting is, you know, broke niggas always say, excuse me, I'm trying to, you know, get better at my speech. But, you know, it might slip. But broke people always say, you know, money can't buy you happiness. You never seen somebody on a jet ski, you know what I'm saying, saying that anybody that rides a jet ski, mind a jet ski, living a the life, they're not saying money can't buy you happiness. And I'm not saying that that's, that's true because money can't really buy you happiness, but you're going to be a lot happier being rich and unhappy than you are being broken and unhappy. You feel me? And so real quick, I'm going to give you guys a, uh, just my story on why, you know, I feel like this needs to be put out because, uh, you know, uh, I grew up around a whole bunch of the, the homies <laughs> and we really didn't have nothing but what we, what we, what we had. So, you know, we tried any different things that we could out, out on the street trying to get some money and it always ended up the same, dog. It always ended up the same. Either, you know, you get rich and blow it or keep losing homies whether it be they do shisty stuff or they go to jail or they die like it happens you really just gotta roll with the punches on that but it gets to a point in your life where it's like either i need like i need to take this to the next level i need to make something happen and after you know street life is so long it's not It's not going to get you nowhere. And I'm telling you guys straight up, like, if you haven't peeped it by now or you haven't seen any of my other videos or you don't know me personally, I'm a real charismatic dude. I have a lot to give to this world. And I'd be damned if, you know, you catch me behind bars, man, or, or dead before I can bring something of value to society. You feel me? So I knew there had to be a better way. And... I knew that it took, it, it was taking forever to try to do the music thing. And then plus, I'm just another big black dude trying to rap. It's like, you're one in a million of those. You know, not to mention you're just one in a million of, of trying to make it into the music industry. But my niche specifically, it was just, come on. It, it was taking too long. And it was like, there has to be other ways besides for, besides rapping or playing the sport in order to get real money. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are these other people that I see that are succeeding succeed? Because you know, especially like in, in, the, in, the, in the in the in the poor community in the lower class community, that's all you see is like yo. If you're gonna make it out, you gotta be a rapper. You gotta be a a, a ball player. You know, and then well, those are just for males. We're not even gonna talk about females because they're that's rarely ever spoken on. But when you really give it some thought, you think about how females make it if they don't take the school route. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't take the school route, then it's either rap or basketball or football. Like, you're playing a sport or you're stuck. You're stuck. Hopefully, you're in a military city or you know where to go to to get the service because otherwise, you are stuck. And reason reason being is because of how, how I started off saying we don't, in the lower class communities, like, there's not much spoken about money about financial situations it's always man we just broke and we got to do something to get some money oh we got to work two or three jobs to make this happen oh we got and it's just always the same struggling path we got to get out of that path we need new leaders and 
and I'm taking that really upon myself. There are a few other ones. Oh man, uh, what's my Mr. J, real estate dude? He's definitely one of the uh, black, you know, <clears throat> forecomers of the leader of the new school. There are other ways to make big money out here, and uh, my personal niche is doing uh, different sorts of internet marketing because you can work the internet like crazy, guys. Uh, for the people that that came through similar situations like me, man. Internet is, is the new crack, dog. <laughs> but it's, it's legal. It, it's legal. It, it gets you extreme. It, it gets you money that you never thought that you could legally. And with simpler work than what you would normally do at your regular traditional job. The thing, the fact of the matter is, everybody always has it stuck in their head like, network marketing's a scam. I gotta put money. If I gotta pay money to join a company, it's a scam. If I gotta pay money to get money, it's a scam. So you're telling me that when you put, because you know, I'm just assuming the, uh, that that you have a vehicle, correct? Okay. So when you put your two hundred dollars worth of gas in every day, or you know, every week to go to work. That's not paying to get paid. Oh, 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 you, that's a different story. No, it's not a different story. You know, you're doing the same thing. <laughs> you're doing the exact same thing. And you're working way harder because you're working down to the gristle, to your bones. You come back and then you, you pass out. You just pass out because you're tired. You look forward to the weekend and then you cry when Monday comes around. Interesting fact is that Nine o'clock on Monday morning is the time, the most frequent heart attack time. People have the most heart attacks, nine o'clock Monday mornings. Why is that? Because of because they choose to be unhappy because they are unhappy working at their boring job. Why is it boring? Because you're either doing something that you really hate, one, or you're overqualified. You were completely overqualified for that job, so everything that you do is mundane. Now, think about anyone that that's probably has money. Think about what your favorite celebrity or sports player, whatever. Think about them right now. Do they have to do these things? No. Why? Why? Because this is going to be this is going to be the major hit right here. That's going to hopefully you know give you that snap because you really need to take this to heart, guys. Because this is this is the reason why so many people are unhappy with their lives. One, and then two, why they're not making the type of money that they want to. The reason that your favorite celebrity or whoever is making the type of money that they're making is because they're doing what they love. It's that simple, guys. I'm going to tell you this right here. Somewhere along the lines, you've lost your passion. You've lost your love for whatever it is that you used to love and wanted to do. Because at one point in time in your life, you had something so certain that you knew. It was like, this is it. This is what I want to do. This is what I'm naturally good at. You didn't even have to try. You were just good at that. That's what you should be doing. That's what the difference is between your job and what these people who are making a lot of money are doing. They enjoy what they're doing. That's why they enjoy life. It's not the other way around. It's not when you start enjoying life, you'll, you'll have a better job. No. No, that's not it. It's not you'll be happy and then, no, no you, you have to be, it's not you'll get a better job or you have a better life and then you'll be happy. No, you need to be happy first. You know, get, get to whatever it is that makes you happy. Do something that makes you happy. That's the complete opposite of what we hear actually growing up, but that's the actual truth. Because you know you hear like, hey, life isn't fair, and it's like life, life, life has a lot of things that aren't fair in the sense. But I feel like you do get what you deserve out of life. You get in what you put in life. If you put in the work, you get it back. But you just get it back in different ways, and that, my friend, will be in another video because. What you get back from life is really is really interesting because you get in exactly what you put in, but you don't really understand when you get it back sometimes because of this right here. That's all the time I'm going to spend with you guys for today, but really, 
I'm going to, we got to keep talking about this and we're going to talk about a lot more in the next coming web series. And, um, really guys, I'm just need you to just go ahead and share this page, comment down below, uh, subscribe, most definitely subscribe right now. So you can definitely catch the next episodes of let's get this money. And, you know, share a comment if you want to get in contact with me. Facebook me, Gerald Alfred. I have that contact information down below. If you would like to get some money with me, I got that contact information down below. But really, guys, stop the bullshit. You know, let's make this money. You know, let's get this money. And I will see you next time around.